should we start with a gas station or should we get into the meat of it with Dr. Seuss? I think I like, I think I, I want to go to the meat of it straight uh, with, with Dr. Ladies Seuss. Ladies and gentlemen. We could, we could do there, it in a hat. We could do it with a cat. <laughs> the, I think the idea that everything is down culture from, you know, culture downstream. at this point. Is... Cultural runoff. Dr. Brendan, did you, where did you go? I, I must have cut out. No, I was just saying that I th saying that cult everything is downstream from culture is where we start with Dr. Seuss. So we end up with actual policy. Right. Um, apparently, the estate or the company that was set up to protect the copyright or the estate or the name of uh, Dr. Seuss has stopped uh, publication of six books. I don't know how many Dr. Seuss books there are, but I would imagine there are dozens i mean uh because i didn't even recognize these six books and i've read a lot of dr seuss i mean not personally but i'm with my kids um <laughs> six of them were were struck because they were racist in their um in their sort of like their co construction i haven't seen the the books but i mean these are this is the determination that the company i'm not aware maybe there was uh, people who were pushing back on this but you know it's not like it was a well, he was a known movies. racist. I mean, that was the yeah. issue too. He was yeah. not like aligned with the Nazis too, or am I making, making that up and getting confused? It was at least sympathetic and the cartoons were explicitly anti-black, uh, et cetera. <laughs> so they've taken uh, six of them offline because uh, they recognize it was from, you know, the, there was an ideology that was being uh, projected through these. And this is really upsetting to the folks at Fox and Friends. What next? take off one more out of production? It is March 2nd. It is Read Across America Day. It is also Dr. Seuss's birthday. And traditionally in our country, we celebrate Read Across America on his birthday because we all grew up reading his books and loved them. But uh, Biden is, there is a proclamation claiming that this is Read Across America Day, but he is leaving out the mention of Dr. Seuss because of this one county, Loudoun County in Virginia. And they are saying that it's controversial and they want to cancel Dr. Seuss. Yeah, they, uh, the researchers surveyed 50 Dr. Seuss books and concluded that out of the 2,240 identified human characters, there are 45 characters of color representing 2% of the total human population. Of the 45 characters, 43 exhibited behaviors and appearances that align with harmful and stereotypical orient oriental tropes. The, rem uh, the remaining two human characters are identified in the text as African and both align with the theme of anti-blackness. How they've gotten this in this one study from this one group and this conclusion is, <laughs> is beyond me. But the cancel culture is canceling Dr. Seuss, at least for now. And judging by the way things are going, it's only going to grow from here. A little different from what President Trump uh, called it, Dr. Seuss, and what he did. Remember, he said this. It was just last year on Read Across America Day. On this Read Across America Day, we recall <laughs> the motivational words of Dr. Seuss, an American icon of literature. Uh, remember Barack Obama in 2016, March 2nd, birthday of one of America's revered wordsmiths, Dr. Theodore Geisel, uh, or Dr. Seuss. What's changed? Uh, times have changed. And suddenly, you know, and, and Ainsley, to your point, after the Loudoun County uh, School District said, no, we've looked at this study that simply looked at the numbers, uh, we're going to essentially cancel it from this particular program. Uh, I, I, I don't, you know, Going forward, we've got a basement full of those books. What are people going to do with Dr. Seuss? Leave them. They would like to see, well, or, you know, just stop stop reading them all together. They're pretty good books. Um, you know, uh, but you know, people have tr problems with how the various characters books. are That's identified amazing. in the book. And I guess going forward, every book will re be reviewed in such a manner. And I'm a Democrat. They're, they're, they're so desperate to try and figure out what the problem is here. Like they're trying to like, like they're yeah. trying to set up like what the slippery slope is. And they can't even come up with what the slippery slope is. Never mind where the slope leads. They're just like, well, I mean, if you get rid of these books, then, uh, you know, what am I supposed to do? <laughs> in my basement? Yeah, like, well I've got six books. They're like this big. What am I? 
we, do I go to a nuclear uh, like uh, a, a dump facility? Like, do I need to go to uh, you know? Do I need to call people in hazmat suit? Like, how are we going to get rid of this? Like, it's too complicated. Like, they can't come up. With- but they're they're too self serious too to like even miss all of the rhyming opportunities that they had. <laughs> I mean, that's all I keep thinking about. Like. <laughs> Do, do like do I like cancel culture? Uh, I do not like it, Sam. I am or whatever. You know, but Biden's kids like Dr. Seuss on the uh, on a boat. He's doing it with a goat. Like, they, I don't know. They could have gone so... that far, but they got to take it seriously. So where do you go? Well, here's where you go with it. If they're gonna get rid of, if if, we... if, if Dr. Se- I think we should correct the record quick on Dr. Seuss, not pro-Nazi, actually uh, anti-Nazi. I can't oh. speak for the rest of his politics. So, Sorry, yeah, I but knew he, there was something about the Nazis. That yeah, worked. he did like anti-Hitler propaganda, actually. So, yeah. Okay. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Just, uh, just anti-Black. And, and so. And, and anti-Asian. He, and so where are they going to go with this? And like, you know, they've, they've explored the problem of like, what do you do with these books? Like, where will we put them? Like, will they melt through our trash can or what? what's going to happen? Well, they've figured it out. You know what happens when you stop publishing three or four books that the publisher decides to stop publishing? This, number 11. Oh, you know, going forward, and that's that's that it control like. what a what a uh, what a radical organization decides to put together and eliminate children's books from a brilliant author that has helped spread the word of reading and the love of reading around the globe. And we're going to let one to read uh, group on a daily decide basis. that it's not worthy of our eyes and our kids. That's a travesty. People we've got to put the brakes on. Well, People look, are too scared. They uh, they don't want to be involved in all of this, so they'd rather just <laughs> cancel it all. And uh, listen, got to stand for something. Well, the places we will go, the places we are going in this country right now. Think about what what Disney did with Disney Plus on those various uh, films that they've got on their platform. What they did was they simply put a disclaimer written by lawyers describing uh, this is from a certain period of time when feelings like this were that good? widespread. Well, it's explanatory, and then people can go ahead and watch the stuff and, you know, be a judge looking through that particular prism of now Let's uh, make Dr. It clear. Seuss is being canceled. Yeah. Dr. Seuss should not be canceled in your home. Let this stay in that one county, and if you want that, if you don't want to read Dr. Seuss, go to that county. <laughs> so what do you think? <laughs> yes. Email us friends of if you do see yeah. it's just like I mean they could do this and they could acknowledge that black people exist and deserve it. Oh yeah, my god. Yeah, it's like it's like go go live in go live in X country if you think you know America's so bad. Go live in this county if you don't want to read Dr. Seuss. You know, I just gotta say now, one fish canceled, two <laughs> fish canceled. They may red not fish have canceled been aware. Blue fish canceled. All right, just let me finish that. Go on. <laughs> they may not have been aware, but apparently. Six of the books, and they keep talking about this one county, six of the books, basically, um, the uh, Dr. Seuss Enterprises said Leftists. that that they're going to stop publishing six of these books because of racist images in them. The free market, though. Listen, I mean, if you can't listen to the business leaders, they're making the decision. It's not coming from the public. Well, and let's be clear. Um we're not, you know, we're still going to have children's books. And it's not like there are children out there going like, I really am my, I am not as well-rounded as I would be, or these are perspectives, these racist images. I am less than because I won't see these. Like, I mean, as if like somebody came out with a, um, you know, I don't know, uh, a book today with like, Shylock images for, you know, Mr. Cohen, who's the baker who just happens to be there and collecting everybody's money or something like that. Like they'd be fine with that being published. Right. Of course. Cause we've got to let everybody exposed to it and it's in rhyme. So what's the harm? I mean, like the idea that this is the end of the world for them is um, it's, it's stunning. What do you expect them to read? You know, Sasha Malia's book, the, the Obama, that's, that's, or that's what they're scared. You can kill me. histories. Of- one of the like oh, literally, you know, dozens yeah. of other Dr. Seuss books that are out there. You could read. Uh, no, if the entire full catalog of Dr. Seuss works isn't in print for in like 300 years from now, then we'll have failed Western civilization. Yeah, we and what will that, kill uh... me read? 
What will Kill Me read? I mean, that's his entire reading collection, right? He's still figuring out his ABCs. Yeah, yeah. Kill Me's a completionist is the thing in, in, yeah. in literature right. canon. If I can't read all the Dr. Seuss, then it's useless to read any of it. I'm just thinking about fully get it. All the books I've like wanted to read and have been out of print for like decades and decades that no publisher will touch because I mean, what what actually does uh, get stay in circulation is actually pro um, status quo. I'll just say that roughly. Of course. All right. Well, it's not just Fox and Friends. Um, it's not like they can't find guests who will back up their concern about the Dr. Seuss gate. <laughs> There's this cancel culture trying to cancel Dr. Seuss now. <laughs> oh, God. How far are yeah. they going to take this? Uh, I, I, can, uh, there, there's no place that they won't go, uh, mm -hmm. Ainsley. There's no place they won't go. This See, week alone, a, they canceled fun. Mr. Potato Head. Uh, you know, this <laughs> week enough. alone, they canceled the Muppets. Uh, you know, they're, they're, they're canceling Dr. Seuss from right. reading programs. I mean, these are books. I literally know the cat in the hat by heart without the book. Though, I read it so many <laughs> wow, times to my children. These guy. things are not racist. You have Oreo <laughs> Cookie chiming in on trans rights. I mean, what is going on? I have no it's idea. Absolutely insane. We'll just keep We've lost it our minds oh and we're God, encouraging it, you know, by allowing it. You saw, you know, the woke gotcha. mob goes after CPAC because gotcha. the stage apparently had Nazi symbolism because these guys are so obsessed with trying to create any right. link to that. Which it and did. it looked like Hyatt was doing a Which good job, did. but in 24 hours, they too caved <laughs> right. to the woke mob. Don, thanks. Which it did. He just, he just acknowledged yes, No, I think he said it. didn't. Oh. Uh, did, are you sure? Maybe he said it didn't. I mean, um, obsessed with trying to create any right. link to that, which it and did. it looked like Hyatt was doing a good job, but in twenty, uh, I don't know. I think it's he hard, said didn't. hard to tell. But yeah. um, are we monitoring Ducey though? Like there needs to be a moment where he just I, kind yeah. of breaks it. <laughs> I think Ducey like, is just like I, I feel like somebody should look back and just see like it's pension vests in yeah. like six months or something like that. Exactly. It's one of those yeah. deals. Tenure. Like, I just, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm three months out from, uh, from, from retirement. I just don't want to go on the street anymore. I don't want to go on the street anymore. It's amazing. Well, yeah. You know he, what I he was to trying say. to wrap that up. This is super impressive. And I didn't know this and I think they probably should have deployed this. I didn't realize that Don Jr. Had memorized cat in a hat. I mean, that's pretty good stuff. Yeah. I mean, he, he just, he, he spends all night railing lines, reading children's books. <laughs> memorizing them for uh to impress his dad i remember this one dad it's like it's like a way for him to get back to you know his childhood relive those memories with his dad i like how fox is with... bringing don jr on to, yeah. to sort of try and shore up their bona fides let's just play this one more um god <laughs> 